We have a bit of a, a flat rule in our office that we don't talk about resale value and we also want to talk about houses that they're going to be in there forever. But I always sort of say you have to love what we do because you're coming to our studio. You know, I'll throw my heart and soul into the design and you'll get all of me, but if you don't really trust that process, then it doesn't. It doesn't work. So for us, you know, I think my favourite clients are when they do let go and they just enjoy that process and watch you create something really special. For us, the communication starts with the message that we send out so that the most aligned clients come to us. They've seen something or they've heard something or they've read about a project and they think, yes, we agree with those values and we understand and we're aligned. How does that translate into larger practice? I think clients ultimately come to us, they, they see we're, we push an innovation culture. We're, we're not a sort of single hand. I'm the head of design of my practice, but I'm not the sole designer. My, my role uh, is to build narrative and have everyone work around a narrative culture. So we really push that a lot. That's all about each project finding its soul. Can you get a bad client and then help coach them into becoming a good client? Is that possible? I think so. Yeah. I think totally. You know, we bring them in and we're collaborating on their project and I think once they see that, absolutely, um, they, they weren't a bad client, it was just about, they, 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 they want to come to you for a reason, yeah. so it's just taking them on that journey. Just as it's important for homeowners to find the right professional architect or designer, it's equally important for the architect and designer to find the right client for them. So we in ArchiPro allow our professionals to showcase their work, their brand, their style, and show how they differentiate themselves and allow for inquiries from particular homeowners that resonate with their ethos. You know, and you do watch a client grow so much over that journey and you know, in the end they're, they're, they're speaking your lingo and they're, they're, they're talking about art and design and you know, they start to understand what design is and that's what our role is as, as a practitioner. When we do our presentation meetings we try and get the clients in and we put on a beautiful lunch for them and they sit down and they relax and we chat and there's time to sort of build up that trust. I mean ultimately they have to feel safe. Yeah, and right. they need to be in safe hands because it's, you know, it's a leap of faith. Um, experience always helps because you've been there, you've experienced it somewhere along the journey and you can immediately answer their questions and say, look, we did this once before and it worked really, really well or we went down that path and it was a dead end, we need to look at another way of doing it. And that's again where they get that level of comfort. I know um, we had an exchange of text messages last week when the hotel you just completed opened and how joyous you were in that space and I experienced it and so other people enjoy it and you know it, it, it does translate, it doesn't have to be a home, it could literally be anything but when you apply yourself and you create something that wasn't there before, I mean it's just an incredible thing what our profession can do. It's so fulfilling to be able to share that with the world.